as you get your day started today. The sun's up, I hear the birds singing, all the animals are out here doing their morning thing. But maybe you are in a place that where you're dreading to take the next step today. Maybe you're discouraged, maybe you've got difficulty at work or at home or family, whatever it may be. I want to give you just one verse of encouragement this morning, and it's Romans 12, 12. And it says, Rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation, and continuing in instant prayer. Here are three little tips of encouragement today. Listen, rejoice in hope. Right now, it may be difficult to rejoice in your situation, but you don't have to rejoice about the situation you're in. You can rejoice in the hope that you have in Christ Jesus because He is there and He is in all power, all knowing. He is in control of the situation, even though it feels like He's not at this moment. He is. Just trust Him. Secondly, be patient in tribulation. Tribulation is the hardest time to be patient because we want to go ahead and get out of the situation. We want God to deliver us now. We want to get through this. But listen, with patience comes great work. God is trying to do a miraculous work in your life and in you. And through this tribulation, He is going to develop you. So be patient during tribulation. Keep your eyes on Him and trust Him. And last of all, it says continuing in instant prayer. Keep that communication line open with God. Have that personal relationship grow that personal relationship get intimate with God tell him your troubles speak to him about it don't vent to others just go to him in prayer just have a daily walk a daily talk keep and continue for all day long keep exercising your right to be able to speak to the great God Almighty who sent his son who sits there on the throne that he is in all power all control isn't that encouraging today that we are in the hands of the Father I hope you have a very blessed day and I hope that you can remember to rejoice in hope be patient in what you're going through and trust the Lord and continue in prayer.